Hello everyone, this is the Prophetic Nurse. Thank you for tuning in to this channel and hearing today's message. Uh, this is some information I got about three weeks ago. And please forgive me for not putting it out soon. It's been one thing after another, after another, after another, after another. Do you know that saying, when it rains, it pours. Oh uh, my, let's see. All four of my tires got slashed and... So I had to replace that and just a bunch of things going on. But I wanted to share some information. Some of you may or may not be familiar with plasma donation. Uh, plasma is, what do I call I want to say that's the watery part of your blood. So you have the blood and you have the plasma part. Now the plasma contains proteins and nutrients and Usually what they use plasma for is to make medications for those that have like sometimes very rare immunodeficiency disorders. Some of them so rare have, you know, really long names. You probably wouldn't even really recognize them unless you knew someone that had that disorder. So uh, at a plasma donation center, now they do compensate you. Uh, you do have to go through like getting a physical or health history. So it's not like anybody can just come in and donate plasma you have to go through a process so i started donating plasma about mm, about six years ago five or six years ago before i relocated to texas and it was just to you know at the time i was saving money to relocate so once i moved to texas it was like it wasn't one nearby me and i had to drive a distance so i just after a few times, I'm like, you know what? It's not even worth my gas. It's not even worth driving. So I just kind of forgot about it until about, I want to say May or June, yeah, May of this year. So I saw an ad and I'm sitting in front of one of them. There are several, actually, I know of five different ones here in Texas. So they're, you know, they're throughout the United States and for new donors, they were offering $1,000 for that month. Now, typically, if you're not on a promotion, if you're an existing donor, you may get $20 for that first visit. And the process usually takes about an hour and a half. It's not long. So you think, okay, $20, for, and you can only donate two times within a seven-day period. And there are restrictions. You can't, like, go to different plasma centers. And because of plasma being so critical, you have to give your body time enough to you know, replenish what was taken out. So, with that being said, like I said, you can only go to one center. You can't go to like, well, I'm going over here today and there yeah, tomorrow. No, they have a national database, so they would know if you've been uh, restricted from another center. If you've been somewhere else, they do check because when you first sign up, they now they don't run a credit check, but they do ask for your social, your original social security card or number because they have to look that up. So anyway. Now, I was going back in May, and I'm like, okay, this is going to be my, you know, extra change on the side. Hey, this is tax-free, effortless money. You know, you definitely have to eat right and drink enough fluids because they test your protein and they test your iron to make sure it's in within normal range. So, I did it in May and in June, and like I said, that was money to not even pay bills. I said, hey, I'm going to use this money to order some supplies you know, food, water, clothes, all the stuff that we need in the house, right? No harm in that, right? Cool. So fast forward, uh, I hadn't been in like, I think the last time I went was like June or July. No, it was July. And I hadn't went in a while because I was working so much. I'm like, I'm working too much. And you know, when you're working too much, so it was some days I honestly, I didn't drink enough water. I would be so busy at work. So I said, well, I'm just going to hold off on a while. I'll go whenever I need to. So I'm actually sitting in front of one right now. And there is Sunday. Today is October 3rd. And I know they, I think they close at five o'clock. So, but they don't actually, just because they close at five, they have to wait till the very last donor leaves before all the employees can leave. But I um, wonder why that truck is sitting there. But anyway. Okay, so I got, uh, and I have the app, and for certain ones, you have to, I guess now with CV, with the pandemic, they require you to make an appointment. So, you know, again, nothing nothing harmful. I go on the app, schedule an appointment. I got an alert 
and I want to say in September, beginning of September, so just last month, that if basically what it said was, uh, hey, strange, it's been a while, come on back, we're offering an incentive of $600 a month. Now, mind you, I'm no, I'm no longer considered a new donor. So I'm like, okay. And it was, and I had to look again. I'm like, now, normally you would get $20 for that first day of the week and that second day of the week, depending on how much you, you know, if you're consistent, is either $50 or $70. Like I said, it just depends on what the center offers. So I said, okay, $200. I'm like, hmm, they offered a $200 bonus because I hadn't been. Okay, cool. So I went that first day of the week was that Tuesday. Now, came September, Friday, September 10th. I had just got off work. It was right before 3 o'clock. I had already made my appointment in the app like a couple of days before going by my work schedule. I said, okay, cool. I sat, I literally sat, was sitting in my car. It was like 2.55. And I'm like, and I was a little tired. I said, should I just go ahead and get this over with, go to the plasma donation center? I, I had already calculated what I was going to spend my $200 on. I said, well, should I just come back Saturday? You know what it had been the next day. I said, no, today is Friday. I'm going to go ahead and knock this out. After that, I'm going to pick up some dinner, go pick up my daughter, and, you know, just go home and just relax. It was a long week. So as I sat in my car, the Lord clearly spoke to me, and it startled me because the way he, I know he speaks to everyone different. The way he speaks to my daughter and me and you or whoever else is, you know, is different. So I'm sitting in the car and he says, what are you about to do? And I'm like, uh, is he asking me what I'm about to do? I'm like, I'm sure he knows where I am. <laughs> I was like, and I heard that voice like, uh, you're going to shop. And I'm like, I'm not about to lie to God because evidently he's asking me, what am I about to do for a reason? So I'm like, I'm getting ready to go to the plasma donation center. He says, that would not be a good idea before I can ask him why. And I'm like, okay, I've been before. Like, what's the big deal? And I'm thinking maybe he was going to have me and my daughter, you know, do something. Maybe I had to drop off. I didn't know what we were going to have to do. So I'm like, um, before I can say, ask why, he said, because they're putting the substance. I'm going to call it the juice because now they didn't want you to really talk about it. You know what I'm talking about? The juice. They're trying to give you the juice through plasma donation. I'm like, Lord, that sounds really like crazy. Like, how can they do that? I didn't get an answer. So I had to pray on it for a couple of days. And I'm like, Holy Spirit, help, you know, reveal to me how, how can they do this? You're not signing anything uh is no injections you're being given you actually if and you can i'll try to find a picture so i'll probably have to attach it at the end but if you ever go to a plasma donation center if you've ever been to one it's a small machine they insert they find the vein of course and there's a big needle they insert into your arm the blood flows out into the, into the machine the machine takes the blood now what it does is it separates the plasma from your actual from your blood and it collects into a I want to say like a not a clear container like an opaque kind of like a off-white not very clear container and once that process is done it takes so much depending on your weight like I said it's a whole process and just for time's sake I'm not going to go through it all but and then your blood is returned back to you now, when I originally started going to one back in Chicago, they weren't giving you uh, the saline fluid. Like, usually that's something you give to prevent dehydration, or even if you are dehydrated if you're in the hospital. But one particular place, when I was like, oh, so they're giving you saline. I'm like, hey, maybe it's something new because I hadn't been donating plasma in some years. So, the Spirit of the Lord revealed to me they are putting the juice substance the v juice substance into the um how can i say it in the iv bag or or uh yeah in the iv bag that's how that's the way i'm gonna put it now i'm not sure if all plasma donor centers are doing this but if you start seeing and i'm sure you may have seen ads 
that are seen for new plasma donors we're offering x amount of dollars now i could have you know went on with my plans and like hey i'm going anyway and been disobedient been subject to getting something into my body that i did not want because truth be told everyone is reacting to it different we all have seen the ones that are dying and blood clots and everything else some people may be fine you don't know what's going to happen in the next uh, couple of years but anyway i asked them could i make a video about it because i'm like well i mean i don't really know anyone personally personally that donates plasma but i'm sure there are plenty of people that are doing it and with the mandates in place and a lot of people having to find alternative ways to get income this is one way a very attractive way of advertising hey you come here you give us plasma we give you this but they of course they're not going to tell you this is what they're putting in there so that's another warning that the lord is saying that this is what they're doing i had no idea i've been doing it coming back since may of this year i had and, and doing it innocently nothing that i was doing wrong i had no idea that they're putting this the v the juice substance in with with the plasma containers so if you look at an iv bag it's clear you can't tell if medicine has been mixed in it i've mixed plenty of medication and iv bags in my career of nursing some medicate even with iv fluids the only way you would know sometimes medicine is in there if it turns a diff different color like potassium that's yellow okay you can see that that's yellow but other medications that are clear you don't know what's in that bag and I don't want to confuse anyone and say this for don't go to the hospital, don't go to the doctor. No, I'm talking about specifically for plasma donations. So if you know anyone or if it's yourself or any family members, friends, co-workers or, or whoever they are, warn them and let them know and share the video. And it's not an easy message. It took me three weeks to put this up. I had originally started doing it and then it was something's going on, on my Internet. It's like. Nothing's wrong with the computer. I haven't changed anything. My internet bill is paid for. And like I said, my tires got slashed. So then I had to spend money on that. And then it's just something constantly all the time. So, you know, if it's something you're trying to get out, the enemy is always fighting. But that is the message I wanted to put up for today. And uh, as they say, take it to the Lord in prayer and let him reveal the things to you because this is very serious especially especially if you are uh, a person that you have not taken it and you don't want to take it and the enemy is finding very meticulous cunning ways to do stuff to get this into our body and if it was so safe why is it that mandates are in place or else you won't get a job or you won't be able to keep your job so that's my message, and I hope everyone has a blessed day and stay prayerful. Thank you.